everyone. We are recording. So welcome to Group for College Students. This is a show about resilience and college completion, and we're damn glad that you're here. This is, well, as I said, a collegiate empowerment production. We do seminars, conferences, and retreats all under the ban banner of what every college student needs to know. We have an awesome history, awesome statistics. Check this out. Over 2 million college students served. We've been around since 1995. I would say that probably most of you have not been around since 1995. We've been doing this for 25 years, and we've established an amazing team of performers with us. As you can see, I'm there the, I'm the short and stubby guy next to Kirsten, who is uh, a, a little bit taller than me. A lot of people are a little bit taller than me. That's me, but I, you know, during the pandemic, I've lost 26 pounds, so let's give it up for me. I'm a little less than that right there. You can see the before and after picture. So if you're ready, say, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Now, baby. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Give me a oh, let's yeah. do this. Oh, yeah. Let's, let's, do this. This. let's do 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 this. Perfect start. This person had like an awesome professional. That was great. Welcome to Grit for College students. If you've already had your birthday this year, give me a hey. 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 For some part in the rest of the year, give me a yo. Yo. Oh. 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 Hey, what do you do? Oh. Hey, and if you like to celebrate every day, give me a booyah. Thank you so much for being here. This is Grit for College Students. My job is to help you as a college student get what you want and need. And you may not know it, but you are going to want and need to have some grit, resilience, persistence, and the determination to endure those tough times with the right attitude and ability. And if you are here on this Zoom, starting college in the middle of a freaking pandemic, you know that you've got grit. So if you're ready for this, give me a, oh yeah, one more time. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. My name is Jason. Uh, when I went to college, I went to the University of South Florida down in sunny Tampa. And I love, love, loved it. It was the best 10 years of my life. Actually, my wife will tell you that's not true. It took me 12 years to graduate. But that's because I failed a lot of classes and messed up a lot and did a lot of fun things and then needed to have the grit to overcome that and the perseverance to stick through it and actually finish. And now I've got a bachelor degree and two master's degrees. Don't stop bragging because my wife has three master's degrees. And I get to go around to college students all over the country. I used to do it in person. Now I do it over Zoom and talk to awesome students like you. Kirsten, why don't you give a little introduction on who you are? Yeah, what's up? My name is Kirsten and I am from Montgomery County. I live in Philly right now. I'm in South Philly as we speak. Uh, I'm a professional stand-up comic and bartender when I'm not doing that and always Jason's sidekick. Booyah, awesome. Ooh, ooh. Cool, so let's get started. I want to play a little game and you're going to want to have yourselves off mute for this. This is a game we like to call Stand Up, Hands Up and Shout. And the rules are simple. You are going to stand up, physically stand up wherever you're at, throw your hands up and shout. I'll put some, uh, uh, some phrases, some voices on the screen and whatever ones you resonate with, give us a stand up, hands up and shout. So if I were to say, uh, you are in a Zoom meeting right now, stand up, hands up and shout, you would all go, woo, right? Uh, so give me a stand up, hands up and shout. Ooh. 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 I see myself in my background here. Okay, so here we go. Those are the rules. I think everybody's got it. Let's start with the first stand up, hands up, and shout. Stand up, hands up, and shout if you make quick decision. Zoom call. Stand up, hands up, and shout if you ever volunteered an answer that was wrong in a class or a session. All the time. Hands up, hands up, and shout if this is your first choice college. Big trust. 
Woo! Hand up, hands up, and shout if you really like your roommate. Woo! 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 You are the dumper. Even more pain. Stand up, hands up, and shout if you were the picker honor. No better not shout. <laughs> I was a jerk in high school. Stand up, hands up, and shout if you ever got kicked out of the house. Yeah. Woo! Stand up, hands up, and shout if you ran away first. Oh, oh, wait. Wait. <laughs> Stand up, hands up, and shout if you've ever been pissed off on social media. From a job. Uh, Kenny's mic quit the job. Nope. Stand up, hands yeah, up, and shout. Uh, what's a job? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Stand up, hands up, and shout if you've ever had a day where you couldn't get anything right. Succeeded in failing. Yes. Up and shout if you've ever failed in succeeding. <laughs> These are the same things. If you throw your hands up and you've shout, stood up, threw your hands up and shouted for any one of these, you know that you've got grit. And as I said earlier, you being here makes you know that you've got grit. You're going to need grit to get through college. As I am uh, doing this, as we're going through this, I have three promises for you. You're in a seminar experience. We're going to have what? Kirsten, what are we going to have? Uh, we're going to have fun, Jason. Yeah, what are we going to learn? Probably stuff. We're going to learn stuff, absolutely. We're going to feel how? Empowered. That's right. We're going to have fun. Because if you're not having fun, tell me, people, are you going to remember any of this garbage anyway? No. No. no, probably not. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Learn stuff, not just garbage. Yeah. You learn stuff you can actually use. So write it down, remember it, tweet it, use it, share it. We're going to feel empowered. Empowered means to share your power so that others can make decisions and take action. Hey, Kirsten, if you don't take action, what happens? Nothing happens, Jason. If you don't take action, what happens? Nothing, Jason. So if you want to take action, if you want something to happen, when do you need to take action? Now. Yeah, that's right. Now, shoot your shot. Now, shoot your shot. Not later or wow. next week, you procrastinators. Yes, sir. We're going to make no. it happen today. Let's go. No. Here's my promise no. to you. I promise to give you 100% of my energy and commitment. Because if I didn't, how would you feel about me? Loser. Bored. Bored. You would think Bored. that I was a loser, that I was boring, Bum. that I sucked. Bum. Absolutely. Now, I ask the same for Probably. you, because if you don't give me 100%, how am I going to feel about you? Hey, Daniel Darden. Um, boring. Yeah, I'm going to feel that you're boring. Absolutely. Now, with all that energy and commitment, stand up now if you're able. Do that now. Stand up now. So let's, let's stretch it out. Let's stretch to your left. Oh, to other left. Right. Yeah, stretch to your right. Oh, that uh. feels like I needed the stretch. Reach uh. back all the way. Man. Woo! <laughs> Say, I now commit 100%. I now commit 100%. I now commit. 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 I will apply what I learned. 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 I will ap
expand our comfort zones and learn some great things in the process. If you're already standing, have a seat feeling energized. Now, I'm going to share a couple of quotes for you. Number one is from a fictitious uh, character from a, a TV show, Captain Ooh. Cold from The Flash. Captain Cold yes, said, get the plan, execute the plan, yes, expect sir. the plan, go off the then throw away the plan. And we have seen that, right? We have seen that Great with show. COVID. We have seen it with like all the protesting that's going on. We have seen it with all of the things that are going on in politics, in our lives, in health, in society, that a lot of people's plans have gone off the rail. They made the plan, but they had to throw it away and start with something new. And now a real quote from a real president, Dwight D. Eisenhower, the plan is nothing, planning is everything. The plan is nothing, planning is everything. It's not about sticking to the plan. It's about the process of planning. It's about the process of being engaged. It's about the process of thinking about your future and trying to figure out what to do and then making the adjustments, as Captain Cold said, when the plans go up and fail. Now, we have three things that we're going to work with today in order to talk about persistence and college completion. Number one, we're going to think big picture because it's all about our long-term success. We're going to understand your emotional cycles so that we can see things through. And finally, we're going to develop a grit mindset to see all of our obstacles as opportunities. So first, if we're talking about grit, as we develop this grit mindset, the first thing is, what the heck is grit? Everybody say, what the heck's grit? Don't know what you're doing. I'm going to give you some stats about first years first. There's 4,312 higher ed institutions. Then what's the name of your school? Give me a Weimar. Man, I just want to make sure. Westchester. Million first year students going through this experience just like you. Now, Whoa. what year do you identify yourselves as? You're the class of what? 20, 20, 20, 20, 24. 24. Class of business casual. Yeah, class of business casual. That's amazing. Business casual. Business casual. Business casual. Awesome. Now, a lot of times people have different answers to that question, and, it, and it's because people take different times, and sometimes people don't graduate at all. Here are some more stats. Only 34% of students will graduate in four years. Bruh. Only 62% um, of students will graduate in six years. Five students drop out in three months. Those Contract. statistics suck. Tell me that sucks. 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 Absolutely sucks. That sucks. That sucks. That sucks. I mean, it could be worse. It was intended when Harvard was down to 400 Shit, years bro. ago. And this is why we need grit. Now, here's my challenge to you. Before you put your head on the pillow tonight, before you go to sleep, I want you to look up your school on Wikipedia. I want you to print out all of the famous alumni. Then I want you to write your name at the bottom of that list. Why not you, right? Why not you? They got to name the buildings after someone. The only thing that's going to stop you are your own self-doubts and limiting fear. Now, here's grit. Grit. Small, loose particles of stone or sand. Yep, that's why we're here. We need loose particles of stone or sand. No, that's ridiculous. Go to the next thing. I don't like sand. Courage and resolve, strength of character. Grit is the ability to get knocked down, to get back up again. To get knocked down, to get back up again. To get oh. knocked down, to do what? Say it with me. From the 1990s, I get knocked down, but I get up again. You're never gonna keep me down. Ah, great song. Oh, I know. Oh, he's like downstairs. Oh, down. Let's go. I thought we were going totally rocky. Pick one of those blue words you see on the screen. Say which one resonates to you the most. More. There's a TED Talk. How many of you are familiar with TED Talks? I am. From University of Pennsylvania psychologist Angela Duckworth. She did pioneering research about uh, grit and resilience and persistence in our lives. Over 21 million views. Maybe you should watch it too. It's only six minutes. Say, maybe I should watch that too. Maybe, maybe I should watch that too. Maybe I should watch that too. 
score show that grit is more important than IQ, which is great for those of us who weren't valedictorian in our high school. And later on in 2016, she said that there's one trait more important to success than IQ or talent. And this is more important than IQ. It's more important mm -hmm. than talent. It's more important than how much money you have, where you grew up, what kind of high school you went to. The one trait is grit. The ability mm -hmm. to get back up after you've been knocked down. The ability to those failures turn them into we are all in luck that we don't have to worry about that F we got in college algebra. Or I guess for you, it would have been uh, high school algebra. For me, I was an F in college algebra, semester after semester after semester, then I tested out of it. This is the belief that you must keep going when it seems easy to quit and give up. And in order to do that, you have to know your why. Why are you here? Why are you in college? Now, as you are here, you are blessed. I want you to know that only 66% of the U.S. population, over 66% doesn't have a college degree. Never got to go to college, never will go to college. It's up oh. to you, you and your generation mm -hmm. to elevate us all to think about their lives. So I want you to know why you're here. Think about that right now. And write down for yourself or text to a friend, why are you in college? Do that now. I'm the chosen one. <laughs> I want money. Because I'm going to feel that. Heck yeah. The people won't trust me if I don't go. There you go. A better future. Do you have any uh, answers you want to share? Yeah. So, uh, first of all, we got to get that bag, fellas. Uh, second of all, Amen. capitalism. Yep. Uh, yeah. Uh, new experiences. I love that. To do better. Get a job. My mom told me to, valid. Yeah. Uh, society, education. Society. And one more, chasing a bag. Awesome. It's important to know your why. And here's the thing somebody told me once. You're going to have those moments where the shit hits the fan and it's not good. And you fail. And you are like, I don't know why I'm even here. I am miserable right now. And it's at time when you look at your piece of paper, you look down where you wrote down, this is why I'm here. This is why I'm doing it. And that sustains you. That gives you the ability to say, yes, I am focused on this. So know your why. Next, we want to think big picture. All right, I'm going to throw up an image right now. We got a game right here. It's a pop quiz. I'm going to give you 15 seconds. 15 seconds. Figure out this maze. Go. Left, right. I, don't, I don't did have it. Good enough. Oh, that's easy. Left, down, oh, there's no finish. Up, down. There's no end. Go anywhere. Stop. There's no way. What you do if you're like most people, one of two things happen. You either There's no way. have gone into the maze and started figuring it out, or you looked at it and you said, hey, there's no exit. This maze is impossible. Uh, you will jump in and say, uh huh. Mm -hmm. If uh -huh. you discovered that the maze had no ending, give me a mmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It is. Mm -hmm. We don't have a vision, we don't have an idea of what we want to see at the end, if what we want to do in order to complete, what the strategy is, what things look like when we graduate or whatnot, we might never do it. We've got to know what it looks like, what the vision looks like, so we can move towards that horizon. Otherwise, we're just in that maze, bumping in the walls and going nowhere. This is kind of a metaphor, and your vision is going to change over time. It's going to change when big things happen. It'll change when you graduate. It'll change if you get married, if you buy a house, if you start a college career, if you pay off your student loans. Yeah, sorry. Pay off student loans. Shit. <laughs> it's going to change. So we don't want to think about life goals. We want to think a little more short term. Just think about the next few years. The next few years will give you the, the space to say, okay, this is what I'm going to, and this is a tangible goal that I can reach. Look at the next four years. Imagine each of the next four years as a step towards your bigger future, your ideal vision. Think about how each year leads to the next and builds upon the others. Think about the goals that you want to achieve as you move towards your vision to your greater future. Each of those steps is loaded with goals. Each year is loaded with goals. Now, I know a lot of you are thinking, I don't know what the hell I'm having for dinner, yet alone what my vision and goals are. Don't ask me that kind of stuff. Come on. We need to talk about your future. We need to think about our goals so that we don't get distracted by immediate gratification. 
where it's easy to quit or give up, when it's easy to stop and you should keep going, when it's easy not to ask the tough questions, when it's easy to give into negative thinking. We have to have grit to see past the immediate gratification and continue on our journey to our greater vision. Focus on your goals so you don't get distracted by immediate gratification. All that junk and crap that you shouldn't spend your time and money on, <clears throat> it's not necessary at all in the big picture in your brighter future. So I want us to think about the goals right now that you have. What are three goals that you have for the next six months? And think about any area of your life, whether it's academics, athletics, career, relationships, organizations. What are just three goals that you have for the next six months? Do that now. Adapt. And Kirsten, let me know as things come up in the chat box. Three goals for uh, the next six months. To prepare for the season of rugby. Nice. Oh, nice. Rugby. I love rugby. I got very hurt playing unorganized rugby. Not get COVID again. Yeah, Not get so COVID again. Stay safe, COVID. stay healthy. Mm -hmm. um, survive, go. adapt, overcome, getting through the BS, don't get sick, become successful, work out, work more. These are great. The remember these goals. Remember these goals because these are your goals for the next six months. But remember them as we're going through this because we're going to work with them in a couple different ways. Thank you for sharing. So our insight here is we always make our future bigger than our past. Say that with me. Always make your what? Future. 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 And then your what? Bigger than your future. Sorry, Say, always make your future. Always make your future. than your past. Bigger than your past. And always make my future. Always make my future. Bigger than my past. Bigger than my past. Don't go making your past bigger than your future because that's the opposite of what we're saying. So the next thing here is we need to see things through and see through things. I want to do a little exercise here. This is the resistance challenge. Everybody, sit up in your seat. Sit up uh, if you're in a chair. Have your uh, back up against the chair all the way back. Put your feet flat on the ground. In a moment, we are going to jump in the air from the seated position. See, it's pretty easy for an uninformed optimist. Here's the catch. You're going to lift your feet three inches off the ground before you do it. So I want everybody to lift your feet three inches off your ground. Yep. CrossFit class is coming on next. Use those abs. With, now with your feet floating on the ground, and I want you to put your hands up in the air so that you're not using your feet or your arms. I want you to jump out of your seat. No feet, no arms using jump out of your seat. Do that now. Go. I'm going to break my chair. No, I don't. This I don't have balance, balance for that. For that. <laughs> I don't have balance for that one. <laughs> How you doing? How, I mean, you doing? Everybody, get it? Let me see. Everybody, get it? Everybody, get some air. Yeah, because it's impossible. You can't do that. That is something that is impossible to do. You cannot lift yourself off the ground unless the, unless you are resistant. It takes resistance to make progress. There is no progress without resistance. You need to be pushed back to move forward. You need to be pushed down to rise to the occasion. Understanding the cycle of emotional change. And here it is, the cycle of emotional change. When something happens, first we start in phase one, which is uninformed optimism. We've got a change in life and it's exciting at first. You have great visions of your success in the future. Like, okay, everything's going to be shut down, but hey, I'm going to be taking classes online. That means uh, I get to sleep late and I probably won't have to do as much work. And it's like, all right, this is going to be cool. I got this. Here's the catch though. You don't actually understand how challenging this new thing will be yet. You're in the honeymoon phase and it feels great. You've got a phase too with this informed pessimism. After a while, shit happens and your enthusiasm wears off. The honeymoon period's over. Say, uh-huh, if you understand what I mean. Like, wait a second, Zoom class, it's hard. Like, I, I miss seeing people. I miss hanging out with people. And like, everybody thinks that I have not as much work to do, so everybody is giving me a ton of work all at the same time. 
seem that they're the only ones doing it. We're in this informed pessimism as we've got new knowledge and we're like, this isn't as good as I thought. Eventually we hit rock bottom. And we're in the valley of despair. And you start to realize you're doomed if you stop right there. You're in trouble if you stop there. You know, and that's where you can see the light at the end of the tunnel. You've hit rock bottom. You've got things have gotten as bad as it can get. And the only place to look is up. And when you look up, you get to informed optimism. That's when you're like, you know what? I'm starting to figure it out. I'm starting to figure out a schedule. I'm starting to figure out how I'm going to exercise without going to the gym. I'm starting to figure out how to balance all of these responsibilities that I have. And you're like, you know what? I can do this shit. I can get this done. Finally, you end up at success and fulfillment where you're like, yeah, I did this. I got that. And that's when you can look backwards down the valley of despair and say, holy crap, what a journey that's been. And this is the cycle of emotional change for all of us when we're starting these new things. So my question for you is, where are you in the cycle right now? Right now, as you are starting a new year, as you are embarking on your college career, where are you in the cycle of emotional change? <laughs> Go and throw in the chat box where you're at in the cycle. Are you at in uninformed optimism, informed pessimism, valley of despair, informed optimism, or success and fulfillment? What are you feeling right now? Informed optimism. I'm seeing Here, a lot of knows these comes first. I'm seeing a lot of threes. Valley of despair. Oh wow. Informed <laughs> pessimism. Um, success and fulfillment. I like that. Um, let's see. Oh my gosh, they're typing so fast. Uh, yeah, a lot of threes, Jason. All right. So if you're out. in the valley of despair, you got to keep going, right? If you're in the valley of despair, know that like, hey, this is as bad as it's probably going to get. I'm now going to figure stuff out. I have resources available to me and you've got to use your resources. Use the school, use your, not use your friends, but uh, you know, rely upon your friends. Repl rely upon this community that you're forming. Know that you can't stop in the valley of despair. You have to keep going and get out of it because 80% of winning is mindset. Only 20% is method. Your ability to succeed, your ability to get through things is all about your mindset. Perhaps you've heard Henry Ford's famous quote, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right, because it's mostly in your head. Also, and I think this really applies, Winston Churchill said, if you're going through hell, keep going. Because I do bad British accent. But he said, if you're going through hell, keep going. Don't just stop there. If you're going through hell, you got to go through it. The only way past it is to go through it. Like if you're walking hot coals barefoot, you better get across those hot coals and get to the other side. So don't stay there in that valley of despair. If you're going through hell, keep going. So one of the ways we keep going is by developing a grit mindset. We said it's about mindset, so we are going to focus on developing a grit mindset can't do it, you shouldn't do it, it's impossible, you might hurt, you might hurt someone else, it'll take too much time, it's gonna rain, drain all your energy, you don't have enough money, you're just not good enough, and besides, you're probably gonna run into a ton of obstacles. All of these things are like chirping away at your head, and if we don't prepare ourselves physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, all those potential obstacles, all those false beliefs, because that's what they are, are gonna hold you underwater and drown your dreams along the way to your vision, and while you're aiming for your goals, there are going to be setbacks. And whether you look at the setbacks as setups, mm -hmm. setbacks or setups is entirely up to you. And that's the purpose of developing a great mindset and using what we call the obstacle transformer, which I'm going to show you in just a moment. Your beliefs are a barrier or a gateway to your future success or vision. Having grit's not just a skill, it's belief. It's a belief that you can keep going when it seems easy to stop or quit or give up. It's a belief that you can keep going when it seems easy to give up on your beliefs. It's a belief that you can keep going when it seems easy not to ask a tough question. You can keep going when it's easy to give into negative thinking. That's what grit is. It's about abandoning restricting attitudes and beliefs. Now, I want to ask you, I want you to think about this. You identified three goals, right? Now, what are three obstacles that are standing in the way those goals, some three obstacles that are in your way of achieving future success. And you can see up right now, 
now, write it in the chat box. Do that now. COVID, 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 COVID. Yeah, COVID is absolutely one. Yeah. All right. So, um, pretty much a resounding COVID from everyone. Mentality, yeah. money, um, Ms. Rona, which is COVID. Uh, money, money, <laughs> money, money. Yeah. These Sorry. are real obstacles, right? I'm not going to bullshit you. Yeah. These are real obstacles. And we have to find a way to think of these obstacles and transform them into ways that we can achieve our goals, ways that we can have success. Because your problems are either going to be building blocks or stumbling blocks. You're either going to use those blocks as steps to climb up upon, or you're going to trip over them and screw up. And our concerns, we can turn our challenges into opportunities. Our hiccups can become either setbacks or set up, and it's up to us to do it. So here is the obstacle transformer. These are the three steps into a grit mindset. Now, when, and our mind's gonna play tricks on us, right? Our mind's gonna play tricks on us. Because first, like, we imagine these huge dreams. We imagine making things real and out of nothing. We call this dream it. Everybody point to your head and say, dream it. Dream it. Dream it, yeah. Dream it. 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 This house. <laughs> we have that dream and then dream, 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 dream. our mind tells us all of the reasons, excuses, or obstacles that we can't follow through that dream. And we call this deny it. Give me a and say deny it. <laughs> and deny it, that seems like bad stuff, right? It seems bad to, for, to uh, deny our dreams. But actually deny it is sometimes mm -hmm. good, right? Like sometimes it's good for our, ourselves to tell ourselves, you know, Hey, uh, you'll embarrass yourself if you do that. Uh, you might be taking too big of a risk. Maybe you should put on a mask. <laughs> you know, like for all these things that like our, our brain will tell us to deny so that we can, you know, be safe, so that we can actually have our success. However, a lot of times people, most people stop at the deny of faith. They dream it, they deny it, and they say, oh, I give up on my dream. So we need a third step. And that third step is the ability to transform it, go doo, and say transform it like a rocket. As soon as you let go of the beliefs that no longer serve you a purpose, your brain comes up ways to make your dream a reality. But it only if you let go of the negative beliefs, the beliefs that are limiting you, you push past the obstacles in your way. How many people knew? a year ago that you'd be going to college in this way. No. No. I did not. No. no. College found some no. pretty amazing ways to transform <coughs> this negative Bless thing. You. COVID experience. Bless you. COVID Bless you. Where people oh, are unsafe that. and people Thank are you. having to stay at home. And a way to say, we are not going to let this get in the way of a college education. For a lot of people, this is actually going to provide uh, an easier route, right? Like some people are going to be able to uh, have access to classes that they never did in the past. When we get past COVID, some people are still going to take Zoom classes. Because we now transform these obstacles into ways to have greater success. At Collegiate Empowerment, we have transformed these obstacles as well. We were like, holy crap, we're not going to be able to go to all of these classes. Meanwhile, I am with you right now in Pennsylvania, my bedroom in New Jersey, and tonight I am with people in New Hampshire. That's crazy. The next day I'm in Boston. Yesterday I was in the middle of Ohio. And I'm able to do that now because we've transformed and found ways to make things work. So one, that's the thing about uh, the transformer. We need to take our dream it and our deny it, but keep going to the transform it section. And here's the questions that we ask ourselves in order to transform our obstacles into opportunity. This is the uh, steps to a grit mindset. We say, what are the current and future obstacles? We think about it, whether it's COVID, whether it's money, whatever it is, we say, what are these current and future obstacles? What are the obstacles I'm dealing with now? And what are the obstacles I see coming up in the future? And then we ask ourselves, how is this a good problem to have? And in a lot of ways, it's hard to see like something like COVID would be a good problem to have. 
or having no money would have a, be a good problem to have. But we say, all right, how is this good that looking at more abstractly, like how is it good that I can stay at home and work? So I can stay at home and engage with other people. How is it a good problem to have? We've transformed the idea from looking at it as a setback to a setup. We say, what am I learning? What am I getting out of this? And why am I still committed? And that's about going back to your why. Why am I still committed? Why am I still here? Why is this still important to me? And finally, we say, what do I need in order to keep going? In order to give myself what I want and what I need and get to where I want to go so that I can have all of the things that I want to have, what do I need in order to keep going? Take a picture of this, write it down, take a screenshot. You will need this as you work to make all of your setbacks, turn your obstacles into opportunity. So what I want you to do right now is you look at some of your goals, you looked at some of your obstacles. I want you to find three actions to transform your obstacles into opportunity. What are three actions that you can take to make those obstacles opportunities so that you can achieve your goal? Think about that and write in the chat box now. And Kirsten, let me know as people are starting to come up with actions to help transform their obstacles into opportunities. Let's see. We have work hard, um, suck it up. I actually kind of like that one. Suck yeah. You're not wrong. Uh, work smarter. I like that. Be organized, put in effort, time management. Uh, yeah. Yeah, these are good ones. I love, I love time management because like I have time management problems too. So for me, there's a, like an action step after saying time management. Like time management is something I need to have. My action step was like starting to put things in Google Calendar and having alerts when things happen so that I don't like miss different shows I need to do or miss different responsibilities or forget to pick up my daughter from camp. You know, like so those things in terms of actionable things as far as those things that you can actually do to help yourself. Thank you very much for sharing. That is awesome. When I told my trainer I'm going to die, and she said, two more. So you're finishing your final rep with your weights, and if you've ever had a personal trainer, your rep says, your trainer's like, yeah, give me two more, and you do it, right? How can you do it? You feel like you're dying. You can't do two more reps, but you do because somebody pushed you. You pushed yourself. You did whatever it takes. When I was in college, I went to, uh, to school for acting, and one of my teachers said that I do well when I'm pushed, but I need to learn how to push myself. And I was like, yeah, I definitely do need to learn how to push myself because I don't want other people pushing me all the time. I want to do it myself. Sometimes we got to give it all we got. Sometimes everything we got's not enough, and we have to do whatever it takes. Developing a grit mindset is the belief that you can keep going. Out of banning those restricting attitudes and beliefs. Remember your boundaries and your personal limits, they're flexible. They're not set in stone. They're like a rubber band more than a wall. Just don't stretch them too far and break and get hurt, but stretch your limits. Don't break them. So our insight here is all of the obstacles that you face are the raw materials of your later success. All the obstacles that you face are the what? Raw, raw materials of your future Raw materials of the future of your success. Yes. <laughs> so this is what we're talking about as far as grit for college students. Now we are coming towards the end of this seminar and uh, we have three last things for you. We're going to do an evaluation. There's going to be a recap and then we're going to do a finale at the end. So as we're coming to the end, let me ask you this. Did you have any fun? Oh yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. 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 Ah, and Woo! you feel empowered that you can do something about it if you need to. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yes. 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 Now I want to give you a little preview here. You've got some upcoming events. I hope that these events are still current. I believe later tonight you've got a magician, Daniel Martin. Uh, yes. that should be not oh boy, bad dad joke. Uh, also, on August 26th, Collegiate Empowerment will be back with you at 7 o'clock for Maximize Your Buzz. 
on Wednesday, September the 2nd at 7 p.m. will be the freedom to be yourself. Another Collegiate Empowerment production. Now here we've got one last thing for you after this evaluation. Pull out your cell phones or your uh, tablets or your laptop computers. I want you to go to www.ceval.com. That's www.ceval.com. I'll give you some time to do that now. This is how you're going to get credit for me in here. Well, do that as well. <laughs> www.ceeval.com. All right. And if you've gotten to www.ceeval.com, put in the session or titer code that is grit for college students. The presenter is Jason, the guy with the dad jokes. I've got a dad joke that my um daughter told me yesterday. Kirsten, you want to hear that one? Yeah, let's hear it, Jason. Um, have you seen the new movie, Constipation? Uh, no, I haven't seen it, Jason. Didn't it's come probably because it hasn't yet. come out yet. <laughs> I know, that's a bad joke. Oh, 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 yeah. yeah, it's a bad oh, one. My daughter oh, will appreciate oh, that I shared oh, it with oh, all of you. Your groans friend. give us strength. Oh, your colleagues do that now. And now, what did you think of the overall experience? My computer is having a hard time connecting to the internet right now, so I don't think Is it I'm... worth your time to think about this stuff, yeah. to think about grit and perseverance so that you can get past the tough times? Yes no. or yes? Yes. So if it is, give us a yes. Yes. Maybe. Compared to other virtual yeah. events that you've been to. Absolutely. Plausible. Then we want you to rank yeah. the content, yeah. uh, whether you're glad you reinforce the content. Rank me, the presenter. Should we keep the presenter on the roster? I hope you don't want me to be fired. That I would appreciate that. Anything else you want to share about me or Kirsten, feel free to, free to put that in. And anything that you can learn that you can now apply, put that in here. Also, uh, you know, all the other questions. What about other collegiate empowerment productions? You know Maximize Your Buzz is coming. You know the freedom to be yourself is coming. Any other ones of these that look interesting to you that you want to come to your campus? Put that in there. I'm going to give you a few moments to work on this. And if you don't finish it now, finish it at the end. And then we'll do one last recap and a finale. Take some time to work on this now. What's the title called again? Grit for College Students. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, can I ask a question? Absolutely. Yeah. It says, would you like us to come back on campus, but you were never on campus. Yeah, so on campus just means on whatever form of campus we're in, whether it's virtual or eventually face-to-face. -face. I know Kirsten was on your campus last year doing Max Roger Punch. I was. I was at Widener last year, and it was... It was a great session. Yeah. Kirsten's awesome. Yeah, I enjoyed it a lot. Aw, you guys are awesome. Nice. Um, <laughs> also, when I was there last year, y'all got Dippin' Dots. Oh, oh, yeah, I, I got in the line for that. Bed, so. I performed I'm to a full audience of 500 people eating Dippin' Dots, and it was amazing. But I didn't get any, but it was amazing. I wish I got Dippin' Dots. Yeah. Didn't you do the center of attention thing? Like the Maybe. center of attention dance? Can we put Pop Smoke back on? That sounds like me. Wait, <laughs> 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 how do you feel the sound? We're not Woo Back Wednesday, though. Woo Night by Pop Smoke. Mm. You should be able to drop down, if somebody asks how you fill it out, some of those have a drop down menu, some of them you could type directly into. Where is it out? Yeah, yeah like, how do I get to it? I know you Take said some time to finish it after uh, we're finished here. I want to get you out of here within that tight hour period. So finish off grit for college students. One of our key insights here is always make your future bigger than your past. Once again, always make your what? Bigger than your past. Bigger than your what? Past. Past. We're going through hell. Keep going. Give us some British accents for a second. If you're going through hell, keep going. Let's hear that. If you're going through hell, you're going through hell, hell. keep going. And our insight, all the obstacles you face are the raw materials of your future success. I want to finish with this. A little secret about a big lie. <laughs> Let me ask you. How many of you have heard before, and tell me if you have, that college is the best four years of your life? 
It's a lie. It's all a lie. Yeah. College is so not shot four years of your life. Because no, if college was the best for lunch by of your life, fill in the blank for me. The rest of your life now, would switch your. Uh, it would suck. suck. If college was the best four years of your life, the rest of your life would suck. You'd only have those four years of awesomeness, and the rest of the time would be terrible. It would be crappy. College is not the best four years of your life. College is the first four years of your life. It's the first four years of the rest of your life. I know you're thinking, oh, that's deep. But you have a choice. Today, right now, right here, sitting in your seat, sitting on this Zoom to decide that nothing is going to stop you from doing what you need to do to become who you need to be, to have what you want to have and be where you want to be. It's time to decide that you have got Rick. I want to thank you so much for being here on behalf of me, Kirsten, all of Collegiate Empowerment. Have a great semester. Have a great year. Have a great four years. Live good lives and don't let anything stand in your way. And when you fall down, get back up like that. Thank you so much. You're welcome, awesome. Jason. Thank we love you. you. We'll take that you. Love you, Jason. Thank you. 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 If anyone has any questions, we'll stick Bob around. Anyone wants to chat about anything. Uh, Otherwise, y'all are Bob. free to go. Whatever you Have want. a good one. Bye. Right, thank y'all. Don't forget to go to the